I'm gone by Safari Lodge. Uh, good morning. Uh, could you tell me if Sir Roger Wilbert has returned from his expedition? He's just arrived. I'll put him on. Sir Roger? Thank you. Yes? Ah, Sir Roger, this is Hobson calling from the manor. We have been endeavouring to contact you for several days, sir. I fear that I have some bad news to impart. Ebony is dead. Ebony? Dead? He was as fit as a fiddle when I left. Good God, man, he's just won the best in breed at Crofts for the third year running. And now you're telling me he's dead? What the hell happened? Uh, according to the veterinarian, sir, he'd eaten some rotten meat. Rotten meat? How in God's name did he get that? From King's Charger, sir. Or more precisely, from King Charger's right hind leg. I regret, sir, that your horse is dead also. King's Charger? You're telling me now that the favourite for this year's Derby is dead as well? Sadly, sir, that is indeed the case. And we did not discover his remains for some considerable time. Most regrettable, sir. So, how exactly did the horse come to die? In the fire, sir. The fire? What fire? In the uh, stables, sir. It spread from the house, and sadly the fire brigade were quite unable to contain it. It is indeed most unfortunate, sir. Unfortunate? I think it's bloody unfortunate. How much damage to the house? I fear, sir, that the manor is now little more than a burnt-out shell. So how did that happen? A candle, sir. It set fire to one of the curtains in the library. Just what were you doing with a candle in the library? It was for the funeral gathering, sir, for Lady Wilbert. We did try very hard to contact you, sir, but communications proved to be quite impossible, and the family thought it best to proceed with arrangements for the internment. May I express my sincere condolences, sir? So now you're telling me that my wife is dead too? OK, Hobson. Perhaps you wouldn't mind telling me just how Lady Wilbert came to die. It was an unfortunate misunderstanding, sir. I thought that I'd heard an intruder in the night. There have been several reported incidents recently, and it was very dark. And I fear that I struck her ladyship upon the cranium with one of your golf clubs, sir. <laughs> my apologies, sir. It was quite unforgivable of me. One of my golf clubs? I hope you don't mean my personalised titanium Adams driver. If you damage that man, you are in deep. Dear Sir Roger, I must reluctantly tender my resignation from my service at the manor, for I have been remiss.